हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वीडियो ऑन सीक्वेंस लर्निंग प्रॉब्लम्स बाय सोसाइटी ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस और एसओ ए आई आई एम रितुल एंड दी स्लाइड्स आर क्रिएटेड बाय माय कलीग तुषार लेट्स स्टार्ट सीक्वेंस लर्निंग प्रॉब्लम्स सेटिंग द कॉन्टेक्स्ट प्रीवियसली वी लर्न अबाउट टू टाइप्स ऑफ डीएनए मॉडल्स फुली कनेक्टेड न्यूरल नेटवर्क्स कॉन्वोल्यूशनल न्यूरल नेटवर्क्स इन बोथ ऑफ दीज नेटवर्क्स the output of a given input didn't depend on the previous inputs given to the model in a nut cell outputs are completely independent of the previous inputs also all the inputs are of the similar size if all the inputs are not of the same size we rescale all the input data to a particular size for example we rescale all the input images of various sizes to 30 and 30 The above mentioned two properties of FNN and CNN don't hold for a class of problems. In such problems, the current output depends upon the previous inputs, and also the size of each input is not the same. In this module, we are going to discuss about such class of problems and models, or solutions which can handle such problems. introduction to sequence learning problems sequence learning problems are the problems in which the current output depends upon the previous inputs and the length of the inputs is not necessarily fixed sequence learning problems using text data in the above figure we see that each predicted letter green output layer depends upon the previous inputs which is orange input layer is end of the sequence that is the letters of the word which was to be predicted or type and the sequence of predicted letters ends the above figure represents a problem which is known as part of a speech tagging problem it is a sequence learning problem in which for a given sequence of words we need to predict the parts of a speech tag for each word in the sequence let's say for example in the above figure the word awesome is an adjective which makes us predict that the next word in the sequence whatever it might be is going to be a noun so the prediction of the word movie as a noun depended upon the previous input word awesome in the sentence i had gone to a bank the word bank can be both noun or a verb looking alone at the current given input sometimes makes it difficult or nearly impossible to predict the output so we need to depend upon the various inputs to predict the output for the given input in our example the input word before the current input word bank was a which is an article which lets us predict that the current input word bank is a noun and not a verb the above problem is known as a sentiment classification problem in which we take the whole input sequence a whole sentence and produce an output positive or negative sentiment which depends upon all the inputs we basically ignore the outputs which are produced at each time step output produced by each input and only consider the final output individual inputs or few inputs cannot predict whether the sentence is negative or positive that's why we consider the final output which depends on every input of the sequence we assign a class positive or negative to a whole sequence of inputs sequence learning problems using video and speech data in speech based sequence learning problems we take a whole audio clip and try to predict things like whether the person is speaking in an angry or a happy or in any other tone which language he is speaking or what words or letters are there in the clip and many other such audio based things are predicted this requires a sequence of inputs to predict them accurately in video based sequence learning problems the final output depends upon the previous input frames in the above shown figure we can note simply tell whether it is a surya namaskar or not only by looking at the final input frame or other intermediate input frames the final output depends on the 
whole sequence of input frames and not on the individual or a bunch of frames. The number of frames may vary from different video inputs because the time taken by different people to do Surya Namaskar might vary. Above are the three steps text, speech and video of sequence learning problems in which deep learning is used to predict the labels at every time step or at the last time step. A wish list for modeling sequence learning problems. Case 1. When we want an output at every time step. So, same function should be executed at every time step. Function should be able to work with the variable number of inputs. The function should consider current as well as previous inputs. Now, case 2. When we want the output only at the end or last time step. So, function should be able to work with variable number of inputs. Function should consider current as well as previous inputs. Take away. We need to find such a function which satisfies the conditions for both the cases. This leads us to recurrent neural networks. Intuitions behind RNNs. In our wish list for modeling sequence learning problems, we have three things. Same function should be executed at every time step. W and R the weight matrices of layer 1 and layer 2 respectively. W2, B and B are the bias vectors of layer 1 and layer 2 respectively. 2H is the output of hidden layer applying a non-linear function at time step. Y is the final output obtained by the output layer by applying softmax to hi. Change in notations in case of RNNs i is equal to time steps corresponds to and is called state. hi u and v corresponds to w1 and w2 respectively. b and c corresponds to b and b respectively. Parameter sharing. This means that whatever function we execute at every time step should have the same parameters. Here x is the input. The parameters u, v, b and c are the shared parameters. Parameter sharing ensures that the function being executed at every time step is same. This satisfies our first point in the this list. Function should be able to work with a variable number of inputs and is time step. So as to satisfy this point, our function should be able to work variable number of inputs. To work with a variable number of inputs, the parameters of the function change at different time steps. As a consequence of what of that we are not able to share parameters. This violates the first condition of our wish list. This does not serve our purpose because the number of parameters at every time step increases. Function being executed at every time step is different. We are not able to deal with arbitrary input size. To satisfy the wish list for modeling sequence learning problems, we need to look for a different approach. Our previous approach was only able to satisfy the condition that the function should consider current as well as previous inputs and fail to satisfy the other two conditions. RNN satisfy all the conditions of our wish list. Same function should be executed at every time step. For the diagram above, we can see that at every time step, the parameters w, u, v, v and c are the same. This means at every time step, the same function is being executed. xi and si-1 are the inputs and they can vary at every time step. Here yi is equal to f cap of xi as i minus 1, w, u, b, v and c. The function should consider current as well as previous inputs. In the equation, to ensure that the function take previous inputs also in consideration, we have included the term ws in the equation of current state function i minus 1 si is the value of the previous hidden state. 
which depends on the input of i minus 1 previous time step this enables our function y i it depends on the value of s i to consider previous inputs along with the current input function should be able to work with a variable number of inputs this is the byproduct of both the previous conditions if function remains the same at every time step and it considers current as well as previous inputs then the function would be able to work with any number of inputs for the second case of this list in which we need to calculate output at only last time step y will not be computed at every time step we just need to compute at every time i s i step until we reach the last time step for that we just need the inputs x i and s i minus 1 which we have already computed after reaching the final or last time step there we calculate the final output y i with the formula y i is equal to big o function of v s i plus c society of artificial intelligence thank you